this one short tonight. Happy New Year, first off, obviously. I've just been tired all day. It's just one of those days. I haven't seen the sun in, I don't know, four days. <laughs> and I got a little bit of a headache kicking in. It's just one of those crappy days. So I'm having some tea. It does say happy holidays. Uh, we're just going to roll through the empties here of it's mainly what? Skincare, hair care, stuff like that. There's usually not too many makeup ones. And we'll chit chat and uh, I won't even make it till midnight tonight. <laughs> not going to happen. Uh, the lighting, I literally have two lights on. There's usually like six. <laughs> so, and I did put the lights on just there behind me. Try to give you something. No makeup. I mean, even my skincare tonight was um, some essence. And I don't even think I did it. essence. And then I went right into the Glam Glow Good in Bed, which is like one of those one and done kind of deals. And that was it. Hello, Miss Granny. Hi, sweetie. Thank you. Happy New Year to you, too. Gonna be mellow night, just not we're not three hours tonight. No, maybe tomorrow. I brushed the dog earlier, so I don't know if that's what's killing my sinuses because he's still just puffing. Trust me, if anybody ever owned a Siberian Husky, you'll know the fur never ends, never, it never stops. All right. I miss anything here? All right, let's do some empties. Nothing too crazy. All right, uh, Lancome Advanced Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask. This had come in the uh, the train case thing they do every year. Lancome, where I bought it for my mom for Christmas to get her the skincare, and then I usually like keep the makeup and stuff like that. And they had this sheet mask in there, so I definitely did that. As well. Went through another bag of the Shiseido cotton squares. Hello, Miss Laura. Happy New Year. Mom is doing fabulous. She is like, you wouldn't even know she's had COVID. I got these at Marshall's uh, for eight bucks. These are the only cotton pads that touch these eyeballs ever. <laughs> I mean, I have these, <laughs> just regular old cotton. Actually, I got an empty one. <laughs> so perfectly, just regular cotton pads. You saw me like doing like the lip swatches. That would be what I would use these for. Take off nail polish, stuff like that. But these won't go in my eyes. Too rough. Once you try that Shiseido, it's like, mm, okay, yeah. <laughs> But see, I do try to find them at Marshalls for like eight bucks, even though you can buy them for like 12 at even Sephora. Uh, I used a L'Oreal Ever Pure Deep Moisture Hair Sheet Mask. It's one of those where it's like the turban style thing. And I usually do this stuff before I get in the shower. I just kind of maybe mist my hair with a little bit of water and put that on, leave it on while I have a face mask on, then jump in the shower, you know, rinse everything off, then wash my hair and then <laughs> recondition it. Uh, speaking of hair, what? I'm telling you, I'm a cheap bitch. I will cut that shit open. <laughs> uh, Kirastaz. Uh, this one is the Intense Moisturizing Conditioner. Like I said, that one there. Hello, Miss Teresa. Okay, I'm definitely repurchasing this. Uh, the Pure Lease Pineapple Bright Cleansing Gel. Love this smell. And I'm usually not much for scents. You all know that in my skincare, but this smells like pineapple. It smells so good, and I mix this with the Good Molecules. Pineapple exfoliating powder, which that jar just never seems to end. <laughs> I'm, and I just mix them together as my second cleanse. This I always use like as a second cleanse. But I will definitely repurchase this. I'm going to miss that. I uh, used up one of the samples of the little 
Hola, Henriksen. This is some lemon stuff. What is this lemon something? And that was a little freebie from uh, Sephora or a hundred point thing. So I went through one and I still have another one. Used up my cooler. Uh, the classic body sunscreen in guava mango. I wasn't sure if I would like the scent of this. And I actually love the scent of this. But they have several different scents for this. But I purchased from Sephora on the last, that 20% off thing, the mousse. Because I wanted to try that. So I was just switching it up. You know. But I would definitely repurchase this. But definitely try another scent. Uh, I used up one of these little... I think I used them up down here. Yeah, I usually wipe off swatches and stuff with them. One of those. Went through another box of the clean towels by the Clean Skin Club. I just don't want to keep the box. I already recycled it. I just kind of rip off the front. This one, they were like bamboo or something. These I get in that boxy drop shop, pop-up shop, whatever the hell they call it. But you get the box. It has like 50 of them in it. And boxy, you can usually catch it for like $5. <laughs> so I always grab a couple boxes. So I definitely went through another one of these. Um, I think I like the white better than the bamboo. I don't know if the bamboo seemed maybe a little rougher. I don't know. Ah, uh, went through another bottle of the J-Cat Beauty Cucumber Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I buy this at Ulta. It's like six bucks, but they put it on sale for like half off or buy one, get one and all this. I just love it. Great product. Uh, glow recipe, which one's this? I think it's the hyaluronic acid. The Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Like these bottles I'll definitely keep. Because I can, you know, if there's another serum I want, and if I like the style of the pump. Hello, Terry. You know, and, put, and they're fun. So, love me some glow recipe. Uh, Waverly Bath and Home Collection Bora Bora Liquid Hand Soap. And this one, again, pineapple and passion fruit. I got this from Boscov's. Okay. I like this. I actually, luckily I bought two and I bought two of this scent. So I'm already on. <sighs> Fucking cat fight. <laughs> Fucking ends in this house. <laughs> Cuckoo keeps trying to run out the door. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll put her on the leash and let her go back out. It's raining out. See if the kitty cat likes the rain. Yeah, sorry I'm not all hyper. Probably you ladies just jumped in. I'm just fucking tired. <laughs> I, I, I swear it has to do. I have not seen sunshine in fucking days. And I'm just worn out and beat up. I mean... Most I did today was go down to the butcher to get some bones for the dog because I didn't realize I was running out and ordered another case for Wednesday and picked up a few food items. And I finally went to this bakery that's been open for a little while here in Bristol. And it's weird. They're closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I go, of course, I go to work on Tuesday. So I would stop, but they're closed. And Wednesday is my day off, you know, so I would like run over there for the well, today they were open. <laughs> so I was like, I've got to try this bakery. Even with masks on, walked in the door and went, oh my God, it smells fabulous in here. And I tease the ladies. I'm like, oh, hi. You know, first time coming in. I go, I, you terrorize me on Facebook with all your yummy looking posts of the food. It's called Bakery on Maple. Because yeah, it's on Maple Street. And I was like, get ready, girls. I'm going to go nuts. <laughs> and it was just like, one of those in the double chocolate croissant, or even the doughs made out of chocolate and then filled with chocolate. I'm like, yeah, I'll take two of those. One of the regular piece of this, you know, cream cheese bar, a little creme brulee cupcake, a loaf of sourdough bread. I, I dropped like 30 bucks. I don't care. Oh my God. Everything so far is oh, yummy. I'm like, oh, breakfast tomorrow is going to be tasty. <laughs> Because I, of course, hammered down one of the croissants as soon as I walked in the house. <laughs> I was like, give me it. I have a piece of hair, obviously. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's why there's the weird lighting. I got like a headache coming on. I only have two lights on out of the at least six that I have. It's actually nice though, kind of not having all the brightness. Oh, Terry's neighbor just finished off shooting off the fireworks. Uh, they've been blowing them off on the mountain here. It sounds like six of dynamite. <laughs> I'm just even like, uh, you blowing apart the mountain? What are you fuckers doing? And they'll pull that shit till midnight. Oh, especially at midnight, it's just going to boom, 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 boom. Luckily, my cats and dogs, I've lived here over 20 years, none of them were scared of fireworks because <laughs> even when they're puppies, Greg and I will take them out and shoot fireworks off in the backyard. Even if we start with smaller ones, just to get them used to it and so they don't get scared. And none of my animals ever have to, like, dive for cover or freak out or you got to medicate them. I, if it goes off, you can see their face and I go, just noise. And they go, oh, all right. Uh, another sheet mask. These are probably from my Gipsy Boxy. Uh, glow Juicy Berries. This one was cool. It's bio biodegradable. So I like stuff like that. Oh, this took forever to use up. Uh, Sunday Riley CEO C plus E Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. I, I, it's... Wait, I think this is pretty damn expensive. Being Sunday Riley, I'm guessing it's expensive. So I won't repurchase this. <laughs> Did it work? Yes. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, because I think it's just incredibly, insanely priced. And I like the one from Pure Lease better. I'm just not done with that one yet. Uh, use some Wilma Schumann European Skin Care Hydrating Collagen Eye Pads. Throw another. See, I use these in tandem, like I said. I have usually Clinique and a J-Cat Beauty working together. So one day I use this, one day I use the other one. So they go back and forth. And right now I've actually thrown in a third. I have the Laura Mercier one going that I got from Foxy. That's why I'll go through these literally at the same time, more or less. This is the Clinique take off the day in the liquid form. And they have the cleansing balm also, which I have backups of that too. Because I switched over from the bombs and trying to blow through some of my oils so I could open other bottles. <laughs> it's been wild. I talked about this last week or in one of the videos. This is horrible. I would never recommend this. Well, I hate it. I didn't like it. Uh, Honey Bell Gold Lux Clarifying Cleansing Oil, Rosemary and Bergamot. And it's handcrafted in Southern California. And it's the Honey Bell Shop. I mean, I hate to bash a small little brand. This is a cleansing oil. You can see how much I've, I've used it like twice. I don't know why this has a dropper. It doesn't need a dropper. It's a freaking cleansing oil. Just pour it in your hand. This does not rinse clean. It's one of those where I even explained in the other video, like, it took me like two other goes to make sure this was all off my face. I did not like this. I will not. It's going in the empties because I'm not using it. These ended up a huge disappointment, too. <laughs> These I got on HSM, I want to say. Beekman, 1802. These are eco-friendly wipes, 100% alcohol-free. Facial cleansing wipes, nourish and soothe with a blend of citrus, stem, cell, vitamin C, and honey. These burned my damn face off. <laughs> I could not. At first, I thought I was insane. Because occasionally I'll like, I want to see how much, especially if I'm trying out a foundation. This is when I may use a wipe and I'll, you know, check my neck to see like, oh, is it actually staying? Did it cover stuff? You know, or just wipe off this part to go, oh, yeah, it did cover. It didn't, I, no alcohol. I don't know what's in here that don't like my skin. My skin takes a lot. I, I this thing's basically full. Cool. There's 30 wipes. I'm, I, I'd be lucky to say if I used five. But I think these are biodegradable too. I believe so. Recyclable, biodegradable. That's why I don't mind chucking these out. Because I'm like, but I can stick it out on my face again. There's, mm -mm. Was not expecting that. Uh, another mask, Nourish Flower Nectar, another biodegradable one. Bosha, papaya, and pomegranate 
enzyme exfoliating body cleanser. This was in, I believe, one of the trend mood boxes. This was really nice. But I love Bosha too, so that's not a hard one to figure out. Uh, First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30. Eh. I'm just not the mineral sunscreens. I used it up, obviously. The mineral sunscreens, you can always feel like that. Sometimes that grittiness, and it's just, ugh. I, I, I have to go with the chemical ones as much as I probably shouldn't. Uh, Snail Repairing Sun Cream by Secret Key. This is a K Beauty brand. This is SPF 50, and it has the plus and the PA plus, 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 plus. This was nice. I used this too. I say I go through a lot of sunscreen usually. Uh, Glam Glow. Oh, he's going. And I'll, did I already clean this drawer? I forgot to clean the lid, but I probably cleaned this up. I have a ton of Glam Glow. But I do like these jars. They're good to wash out, keep around. Because one of them, I, where they have the bigger tube of the product that's normally in the jar. And then I'm just taking it from the tube and refilling the jar with it. Because it's easier to store for me. That's a keeper. Hair color. Unicorn hair. Lime crime. Uh, this one's mystic. It's in the blue somewhere. Because all my blues are a mix. This I had a chuck. Due to that sunscreen recall. This is the Copper Tone Kids. Uh, SPF 50. Which I've been buying this. And the other ones. In the spray cans for years. And then they find out. Oh, there's benzene in there that's giving me cancer. Oh, thanks. So I've been putting something on giving me fucking cancer for years. <sighs> uh, coat, face tinted, SPF 40. This one expired on me, so it's probably over half done, but I didn't like it anyway. And I usually like the coats, which is weird. I don't know if it was just because of the tinted, but eh, I probably wouldn't repurchase that one. thing of bioderma uh sunday riley ceramic slip i'm going through another one of these too this is the gentle plant-based cleanser these i've gotten in boxes and stuff i don't actually buy sunday riley <laughs> used up the ceo glow this is the vitamin c and turmeric face oil this i would use every morning this is part of the morning skincare. Vitamin C you put on your face, body, whatever, is in the morning. Retin A at night. So that's the difference. So this is always like I always just think orange juice for my face. <laughs> um, this is highly expensive. I would probably not repurchase this either. I might even have a backup of this. I gotta look in my stash. But always some vitamin C product. And I have those skin suticles ones too that are those little vials that are tiny. But it's like one drop of that. Those bottles are going to last me a while. Oh, I just did a foot peel. Actually, my feet just finished peeling. Yesterday. <laughs> I love these by Patchology. Uh, another Bosha. This is the Peptide Youth Restore Firming Body Serum. So that one. I believe this was in Trend Move Box too. That's a, I would repurchase the Bosha too. This I've repurchased multiple times. This is the M Green Grass Dry Oil Spray. And the fragrance is Beach Air. And these I caught on Voxy for like $4, I think. So I still have... I'm working on one bottle that's about halfway down. And I still have another bottle. So if they put these in like that drop shop again, then I'll definitely repurchase more just to have them on hand. I went through a dry shampoo, uh, the Mark Anthony Refreshing Coconut Clear Dry Shampoo. It's a nice one. Not one of my favorites. Oh, are my favorites in here? I never know. No, I'm still going through it. <laughs> this took forever to use up. This is a great value. I think this is like $28. This is the Peace All Out Retinol Eye Stick. And I've already opened my other one because I did buy a backup. They sent me this one, and then I bought the backup from Sephora in a little kit that they have. And it still might even be available. It's like, peace out, stars, skin star, something like that. 
But it had like this, a couple of the little dots, you know, the zit dots. And something else was in there. Uh, oh, for like acne. A little acne bomb or something. But this is an eye stick. I, I dug this shit out. <laughs> dug it out. But it's the... I should have bought the other one. It, you've seen my... I don't know. It was in the last video it was in. It's just a uh, yellowish white... You know, it's like a lipstick. You can roll it up and down. And I just put it under my eye. And I can actually put this on my eyelid. Across my eyelid. And just in, you know, my eye area. And then I'll still put another eye cream on top and stuff like that. But I'm like, I the other retinase, I don't know. I've never actually put them, like, on my eyelid. And this, you know, it's made for your eyes. So, I mean, yeah. But already the repurchase is already opened. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. This is a $18.99 single essence. I got this in a lure beauty box. That's K Beauty too. Without a doubt. I gotta chop the top off of this one too. Uh the Glam Glow. Another one of the Super Mud. These you'd seen me purchase from Beautylish. These are the post makeup recovery spray. So these were like two for ten dollars or something. And I use this, the post makeup recovery spray, immediately after washing my face, whether at night or in the morning, as soon as I get out of the shower or whatever. Because it's, all it is is a bunch of like vitamins and minerals and stuff. And you can almost feel your face, especially when I'm getting out of the shower. And I don't really take hot showers or anything. And you can feel your face is dry. And it's funny, you get out, I dry my face and I immediately grab for, I have a bigger bottle. And just, you know couple spritzes and you feel your face like suck it in and then I'll you know go into the essence and then the toner and all that crap but I bought these and I I filled my bottle like halfway so I all these are it's technically not empties but they're empty <laughs> so they're into the bigger bottle which I just keep trying to really refill uh, another glam glow sheet mask this is the bubble one it does. It gets all bubbly. and This is fun. Uh, Dermalect. Cosmeceuticals. The XL Lash Volumizer. I don't... I never put this on my lashes. I refuse to. <laughs> and I just like... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my eyeball. <laughs> yes. You never went near my eyes until now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It has a brush. Obviously. Because it's supposed to be... I was putting this through my eyebrows. This thing lasted forever. Because <laughs> you could just keep like shaking it and it, oh god, it never ended. Never ended. What else I got in here? A uh, little mini wishful of the Yoglo. I still have my full size, I haven't opened. Kirstas. What is this? The uh, Bane Ultraviolet. This is when I was probably right after going blonde or just still using it because I want to use up the shampoo violet. You know, the purple shampoo. So your blonde hair doesn't turn yellow. I have uh, two full size bottles of this, but I just wanted to use up the sample to use it up. This is the Alpha H Liquid Gold with Glycolic Acid. This had just like one facial pad in it. Wayne Goss turned me on to this. Wayne Goss did a mystery box one time with, um, it wasn't even a mystery box. I think they told you what was in it. Who do you do a box with? Beauty Bay or one of them? And it was like his favorite products and that Alpha H was one of them. So I had that and then I got it in another recent like boxier one of those. But nice one. And that's kind of one done. So here's the original. I went through these two. The clean towels so these are the white ones but again I, i'm digging these it's much more gentle on my face than a washcloth so sometimes i still do the washcloth if i'm looking for maybe a little more exfoliation but overall i've just been trying to use those and they're actually pretty damn big uh peter thomas roth the cucumber gel mask another great product 
been using Mr. PTR for years. Uh, another thing of wipes. Uh, Ol Henriksen. Another one of those. Oh, these must be the things I got in the box upstairs. I haven't worn one says wet, one says dry. So this is like the base blue wet makeup removing wipe, or it's like I had a wet it or something. I don't know. I think I tried one of each and they're just still sitting off to the side. Uh, another old Henrik's. <laughs> the brightening ones. Uh, Alginist, I'm guessing. Yes. Alginist Alive Prebiotic Balancing Moisturizer with SPF 15. Alginist, another great skincare brand. Pricey, but nice stuff. Uh, the Grease Relief Oil Pore Refining Cleansing Cloths from Ole Henriksen. Nice every day I just rotate out of things. <laughs> I just try to use it up. There's my little nug. Uh, flaxseed and Peppermint Oil. This is the revitalizing little. I love these little capsules. Ah, uh, this is the O, O C cleanser. I think this was a boxy thing too. This was actually nice, and I do have a backup. I just haven't opened it yet. <laughs> oh my God! There's a makeup item. Tart lights, camera lashes. Or, yeah, lights, camera lashes, mascara. Another super mud <laughs> from Glam Glow. <laughs> The youth mud's one of my favorites. I just go through that like crazy too. Uh, I already repurchased this at, I think it was in my uh, Good Molecules haul I just did. The Daily Brightening Serum. So see, I used up that one. So I need a new one. Uh, Glow Recipe Avocado melt, melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. This was nice. I don't know what the full size cost. But perfect little size to try. I mean, there's like five mils of product in here, but it was enough of eye cream, you know. Like, oh, a little glow recipe. More glow recipe. Watermelon sleeping mask. Uh, the Belle Royale from Guerlain. A little bottle. It came in something for free. I bet you I used that little sucker up, but I don't know what that cost. Oh my god, we're almost to the end. All right. Uh, Coats, Pure Botanicals and Minerals Tinted, SPF 45. This, I just, ugh, I fucking hate it. This is the Kosas Sport. It smells fucking horrible. I just, the scent is just, and it's pretty, and I think it does have SPF in it or something. It's a hyaluronic lip balm. I, I just can't stand the smell. Just bleh, something about it. Uh, more Glam Glow. The Youth Potion Rejuvenating Peptide Serum. I'm pretty sure I have another one of these. I just haven't opened it yet. <laughs> At Drop Shop, yeah, that's where you just go wild. You don't pick up everything. Uh, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay <laughs> Portite Facial. I do have the full size of this too, which I think that was in, was that one in a Charm Mood box? It was in some box, but I have the full size of this. This is nice too. This is a quick one, like five minutes. Sometimes you don't want to leave a mask on for like 20 minutes. Another one of the wishful yo glows. I will eventually open, I still haven't opened that or her honey bomb or whatever the hell it's called. I'm just like, I haven't gotten around to them. Lamb Glow. I have another one of these. I think I'm finishing up. Uh, Super Toner. Exfoliating Acid Solution. I would buy the full size if I ever had to. One thing I have is tons of toners. Tatcha the Water Cream. I have so many of these little samples. But these little samples are great. <laughs> and Gina and I exchanged gifts and I'm like, girl. I, go, I gave her a, which I totally forgot to bring down. I'll throw that in the favorites when we do it. I bought us the Tatcha lip masks. 
And at the time, they were doing like buy one, get one free or something like that. And then it was some other product. I still don't It's in the cart on like the whole thing waiting. Like they sold it out. So I'm like, gee, <laughs> whenever the hell it comes in, I go, this was back from literally like October when I ordered all this. And I couldn't show you guys because I was going to give, you know, as a gift to her. So it's just like, shit. And I think when she got COVID, you know, obviously I wasn't seeing her. Then even I didn't even go near her for like a week. And I knew after the sneezing and everything, I'm like, you really need this lip mask. I was going to give it to you for your birthday. But you know, you're you're going to have it early. And another Coats face. Uh, natural tinted SPF 40. That's all of it, I think. The only other thing that's getting low is something over here. Yeah, this has like a couple spritzes left. My little makeup forever. Little primer, whatever thing. Right, let me throw some. Uh, let's put these over here. I don't want to drop the little recipe on the floor and possibly smash it. Oh, did I miss anything? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, wow, I missed all kinds of conversations. Holy shit. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yay, Teresa purchased the piece out. Hello, Miss Garmin. Miss Twisted Kitty, I got all the damn ladies here tonight. Right on, ladies. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. I, a girlfriend gave me this a couple of years ago. Poor Laura's tired too. Yeah. Well, oh god, the roof leaked again. Oh no, girl, that sucks. Oh god, Birmingham is lit up with gunfire. Yeah, it's gonna be a loud night. Happy New Year, my lady, lovely ladies. I'm trying to see the comments on the TV. <laughs> Carmen's going home soon, going to bed. Right now, we're all just fucking tired. <laughs> I tell Gina, like, I am doing everything I can to get out of this goddamn bed to go do this. I say, I feel so bad because I, you know, it's like New Year's. Normally, I'd be all the crazy makeup on and do-do-do and... Oh my fuck me. I'm barely awake here. There's an old dumb drinking tea that's gonna knock me on my well, it doesn't knock me on my ass, but Yo Hanka, how are you, darling? Happy New Year. My mom is doing fabulous. Thank you for asking. She recovered in like three days. She didn't even have any of those antibodies, any of that. She just she's a fucking trooper. And I still feel, you know, fabulous regardless. I'm I'm just fucking tired. I'm not like, you know, all of a sudden, oh, the COVID's kicking it. No. Oh, thank you, my love. Thanks, Laura. Laura's keeping everybody updated. I'm blowing smoke at you guys. Oh, my God, I'm horrible. I don't know when that new trend mood box is coming out. I'm sure there's going to, wait till tomorrow, our, our fucking emails, we all have emails, obviously, have been blowing up from the same companies multiple times a day going, do your sale, do your sale. I'm like, wait till tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to wake up to fucking 200 goddamn emails. Who's got sales? Oh my God. I know Sydney Grace, I think I saw on Instagram. She's going to be launching some new stuff. I want to say tomorrow at noon, which I'll definitely check that out. Because I think she was going to do like new something every month. I mean, the girls are changing it up, which is fine. I love Sydney Grace. And don't forget, we'll have that foxy fucking thing probably showing up next week, too. Yeah, we'll have to go through all my um Violet Voss palettes one day, too. 
Yeah, that retrograde's a great deal. Luckily, I already have two of them. <laughs> and that's, that's a fucking palette that I would have paid full. But did I pay full price the first time? Probably not. But if somebody was like, hey, should I pay full price for this? I'd be like, yeah. That fucking retrograde palette, I'd pay $65 for that. But it's better at like, what, 37 isn't Sephora doing another, like, 20% off? Oh, I have retrograde. I have two of them. Yeah. And I have two of the naughty palettes. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Okay, so it is still on sale at Sephora. Yeah, with the extra 20%. It's a great fucking deal. Hi, Twisted Kitty. Mwah. Hugs, darling. Oh, great. You bought the highlighters. What, the Kaleidos? I'm still waiting on my order to come in. Like I said, I still have more coming. Yeah, okay, the retrograde's 34 on Sephora right now. And Teresa bought the Violet Lash Cherry Palette. That one looks pretty, too. You're always looking for reds, aren't you, Teresa? And Violet Lash, you always make good reds. Without a doubt. Ugh. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, I just do empties video when that little bag I just keep using the same bag. Which is funny. What does it say? Happy birthday or some shit on it? Wish big. So I literally just throw this in the corner of the bathroom and when it gets to the top, that's when I do these videos. That's where I was like, I can't do favorites tonight and fails and all that i'm like just not oh woohoo you can tell i look fucking tired i know i look fucking tired and i'm just like piles of shit everywhere to photograph i'm like just fucking sun now it might be monday then massages are on hold because i checked with my girl i was supposed to usually get massage today I'm like, uh, it's up to you, man. You want to beat my ass or whatever? And she was like, girl, we need to put on a fucking hold again. Because Connecticut, I think we're even at. We were doing so fucking good here. And it's out of control. Again, COVID. So she's just like, she's like I said, she's moved to a new facility. A lot of the people there are sick. I mean, luckily she's triple vax too, I think. Yes, she's got her triple but my, she's already been through cancer, all kinds of shit. So she's compromised too. So it's like keeping her safe, her mom, her daughter, me, all her other clients. She's like, right now we'll shoot for like the 14th. Cause that's like a couple weeks out. And we'll see what's going on. And I'm like, it's still going to be a shit show in two weeks. That's when it's really going to be a fucking, cause that's where we already catch it by then. I still couldn't believe I saw fuckers sitting in Times Square going, are you serious? I've never had an inclination to ever do that. First off, way too many fucking people. <laughs> and standing out in the middle of fucking literally December, January, you never know how the weather is going to be. Sometimes there's been snowstorms, rain, and they're packed in there like sardines and they're making them wear masks and everybody's supposed to be vaccinated and all that. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> And all you do is just still go in a store. I'm not freak out. Because now I'm even double masking if I go in the goddamn uh, gas station. You know, just because all I run into a gas station is I only really have to put gas in the car every so often. I mean, I get about 16 miles a gallon, <laughs> which isn't bad for a V8 with a, you know, to Dodge Challenger. So maybe. Every couple of weeks, especially since I only go out twice a week, that I have to put gas in. I put like 30 bucks in and a carton of smokes. So I'm like, that's it. In and out. But I'm still like double mask getting there now, too. Because I was down to a single mask there. I had to go into Walmart. I was definitely double masked in there. Don't get me. I hate to do self checkout sometimes, but it's like, fuck it. That I, nobody else is touching my shit and I can just throw it all in my car. But people still aren't, like, even when I went to the butchers today, they weren't, a couple of them were wearing masks, some weren't. I was just like, either you fucking all wear them or y'all don't. Like, what the fuck? 
At least I saw the one guy who sold out my box of bones on me last time. I'm like, you fucker. I should make you come home and wrap these goddamn things. So I'm like, I'll take them for Wednesday because I'll know I'll have the truck and everything. It's easier for me to wrap the bones on the back of the truck than into the car. They're just big marrow bones from like cow bones they give the dog every day. It's cute. The little beauty will be over there chewing on it. And he catches her. He just runs, takes, gently pushes her away with his nose and then grabs the bone and goes in his little house. That's funny. Kuka was sleeping with him earlier. She'll sneak in his fucking cage with him, which is dangerous. Huskies can be fucking brutal. And he don't like cats, technically. They love him. He just deals with them. And I happen to look over the bed and I'm like, oh, because I saw Kuka in the corner. I'm like, oh, fuck, is the dog in the cage? And he's sleeping and she's just at the other end and she knows he can't technically get to her fast enough because he is older. He's like 13. I'm like, Kuka, you want to hang out? And if he's letting you stay there, that's your thing. But if he growls at you, go. <laughs> Fucking cute. My crazy, my crazy family of children. Oh shit, oh shit. How come I'm not popping up while I'm talking? It used to do that. Yes, yeah, see, Teresa likes the red ones. Oh, yay, Laura. With the BH, Miss, the Miss Claus Lit List palette. It is a nice palette. You can get so many goddamn looks out of that. Yay, Laura's going to treat herself. Always treat yourself, ladies. Yeah, because we all have so many palettes. you got to mix them and match them. And... Well, I know it's out of control down south, Laura. Well, it's out of control across this whole fucking world at this point. Yeah, see, Granny? Oh, my God. The sun? I, I haven't seen it I don't, at least four days now. At least four or five days. And I feel bad because <laughs> an indie brand reached out to me and was like, hey, can you take a few fit pictures for us? I mean, they even offered to pay me. And I'm like, no, no. So I'd sent over one picture that I had on a, um, my mirror was frozen because they wanted it on white background. And I said, well, that's fine. I thought I'd just take some fucking paper outside and put it on my mirror <laughs> and cover the mirror with fucking printer paper for a white background. I said, Unfortunately, I have not seen the sunlight in fucking days. I said, at last I texted them going, maybe this Tuesday. And then I hit them up again today going, just letting you know, I still have not seen the sun. Because I said, I do not shoot inside. If you ever see the black background, like in one of the thumbnails on YouTube, it's the fucking chair I'm sitting on. Where I just took the makeup that I left on the table in front of me here and just threw it onto the chair and took a picture. I think that was even like yesterday's. Or the day before because I didn't have a picture of the stuff outside and I go and shooting inside I, you just unless you have the perfect lighting it's not gonna look right and I said I think they might said the sun might come out Monday so you know I said I'll just shoot you any pictures I can get if the sun pops out and they're like no problem girl we got no no problem I'm like you know use what you want but here's you know I gotta wait for some sunlight just for me to get a better picture Oh, you'll have to, you're in Florida. Good. Bless you, darling. Be safe there. Holy shit. Is it your governor missing? Do I keep <laughs> fucking Twitter or something? Like, fucking DeSantis is just like, where, it's like, where's fucking Waldo? Where's DeSantis? I'm like, and then people are going, we bet the fucker has COVID and he's in the fucking hospital. So I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't been on the internet most of the day today. But the last I saw, like, Ron DeSantis is missing. I'm like, oh, that wouldn't be a big miss to me. Oh, New York, Granny. Oh, I'm right here in Connecticut, girl. I know. Uh, the Condo Association didn't fix the leak after the last leak. I wonder if you can go after them. I don't know if you can. Because you pay all that. Mm. That's a tough one. Because 
I do real estate, Laura knows that. You all know that. <clears throat> I used to even work at a um, condo association place where uh, we had the managers. And they were the managers of each complex and shit. Oh, my. I mean, just the, the bylaws and all that shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I saw that, Carmen, on what was your Instagram? Carmen saw a guy today on a bus doing a video chat with no mask on. It makes you just want to walk up and, like, stuff something in their fucking mouth like an apple. Well, what two pallets did you get, Terry? Do tell. Don't be holding out on me. Terry's like, I got two pallets in the mail today. Well, what'd you get? <laughs> See, you honk his ass could do. Yeah, last night, that's why I felt so bad. I'm like, last year I know I had my sparkly shirt and probably my fucking tiara on. And, oh, I just don't have it in me. Is he, Teresa, I swear I saw that. That the guy is like fucking missing in action. Well, he's been just like pulling with the orange idiot shit of playing with him. Yeah, I would sue the shit out of him too if you can. Oh, she got, okay, Terry's finally telling us what you got. Uh, two from ColourPop. I lilac you a lot. I bet that's pretty. I'm guessing that's purples. And the Tinkerbell one with greens. Oh, my color is greens and purples. Oh, God, yeah, they have to repair the walls, too. Absolutely. And they're possibly your floors. I love purple, too. Obviously. Jeez, Brenda don't like purple and blue. <laughs> Carmen wanted to swing kick in the face. No, I haven't let him come home yet. <laughs> he's still, no, he's, when the hell is he coming home? I even asked, like, when the fuck are you possibly coming home? They'll either come home tomorrow or Sunday. It's fine with me. I love it, ladies, because I haven't had to cook. I haven't had to do any of that shit. And he's having fun. He was actually like a little lit up last night and he, he, it's funny. He'll call me at like nine o'clock in the morning. It's like almost every day. It's like the same little routine nine. And then usually like five, six o'clock and then usually eight or nine again. Cause that's when he's like, and that's like a norm. We, we normally don't even talk three times a day on the fucking norm. It's only cause he's gone. <laughs> he called last night at like eight and it was like nine 30. I'm like, I know he's buzz. He's, I just want to say I love you. <laughs> okay, honey. Fucking call to get it like 1030. I'm like, all right, you are up past your bedtime. <laughs> get to sleep. I know he's want to call to say I love you. <laughs> I love you too, honey. We have the funnest fucking relationship. <laughs> Thanks, <Sean. laughs> Make life your runway. How are you, darling? Yeah, last year was way more fucking fun than tonight. I'm just fucking beat up. I don't know where the governor is. That's what I'm trying to find out. Because <laughs> color pops always watching something. Everybody's always watching something. Gina got me this fun one. Oh, I'm sure it's been all over, possibly TikTok. Uh, wonder something. It's not Wonder Lip. Wonderland. You girls have seen it. And I've actually did a video on it. I even laughed when I opened it. I said, Gina, I did a fucking video on this years ago on here. But it was a K-Beauty brand where it's that thick mine was in one of those like squeezy tubes so it was even that was a nightmare to put on so you put on like three layers of like this purpley looking and they say like put it on thick like a lip gloss and try to get three layers on so that's one of those things where i had to like okay take your time because it's this crazy looking purpley 
thing and get it on there because you want to make sure it's like, you know, as perfect as you can get it. So, of course, 7 o'clock last night, I'm like, bam, all right, put it on. And you could literally wait 5 seconds to 45 seconds. You know, my ass left it on a minute. Because <laughs> I'm like, go bold or go home. I want to see what this fucker does. Then the weird part was, of course, you're not, I'm not trying to press my lips together because I don't want you to stick my lips together. So then you have to I put a, like a little paper, you know, piece of paper towel or tissue, like under here. Because then you have to spray this activator, which then after that sits for the few seconds because it's still wet. Once I sprayed it with this activator, it makes it where then you could just peel it off. And fuck me if my lips are not red. It left a red stain. So I'm laughing over. I go, okay, well, I got this here. And I'm like, uh, my mouth is still, oh. I just said, fuck it. I pressed my tongue against my teeth. <laughs> just to hope to go, I don't know how much this shit's going to go on in my mouth. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, four inches from your mouth. Because it goes, if you spray it too much, it's going to be, like, causing chaos. So I did just spray it the one time. I was like, ugh, well, <laughs> But son of a bitch, if that stuff didn't like change texture like really quick. And then you know, you just start like at the inside and fucking peeled off. I was like, and then they even gave you a little towel, a little tiny black towel in the thing, which I just used the tissue I had. Because I did have, oh God, I thought I was tearing up my lips. A couple dry spots, like right here is one. So right there it was a little brighter. And even in the instructions, it's like, because I did do a lip scrub first but i must have missed like right there but that shit stayed on definitely did not smudge smear do anything made it through all the food did feel a little my lips felt dry after about i want to say three hours so i would have put it at what like 10 o'clock last night and it said you can use a lip balm over it lip gloss anything because it is technically just a stain so i was like all right and i grabbed the um I have the red Kaleidos one upstairs, the apple glaze that they'd sent over. So I just dabbed into that, put a little on, and then my lips felt fine. I was like, all right. I didn't even take my makeup off till like midnight last night. And I wanted to see how it, you know, oh, did it leave anything on my cigarette? Did it like bring that color? Oh no, I <laughs> had to take that off with double action, like my Clinique or the J-Cap Beauty, the makeup remover. Oh, yeah. And I had to do it like three times. That shit was pretty much on there. I was like, hmm. It's one of those where I would do it tonight, but I don't want to let my lips heal. Once my lips are back to damn good condition, I want to do it and then just leave it and see how long it takes to like wear off. Just out of sheer curiosity. Yeah, like do it in the morning when I get up, you know, put it on 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. And then see like 12 hours later, is that shit still on? Because after, because I had on five hours and it was still on. But I wasn't doing anything besides having tea and smoking. But fun little product. I laughed because I said, Gee, I said, oh my God, I did one of those literally years ago. And that one did have where it was goopy. And I was just remembering doing, and of course I filmed it on my regular camera. So I didn't have to upload it, but of course I did. And try to peel it off, going, oh my god, this is weird. And that one was strange. <laughs> Cause it, it, but it didn't have, like, that second stage to it. Because it was weird to take it from, like, this thick... Because it said three layers. Two to three layers. So I'm like, I don't know why I need all these fucking layers on, but all right. And then it did. It peeled off and left the lip stain. So I don't know if there's different shades or if it just turns pink or pinkish red on everybody. I don't know. But I will be buying some fun Amazon stuff because um, two of my agents gave me a, uh, they were laughing. We gave you a gift card to Amazon because we figured, Christ, you buy stuff from everywhere and we're sure you could find something on there. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's all kinds of shit on Amazon I can buy and play with on my YouTube. <laughs> I'm like, there's always stuff on there. I mean, I get a lot of my tie shit from there, too. But stuff like that I like to either buy, you know, like perfumes. Nope. Oh, there it is. Oh, whoa. I'll leave it. Mm -mm. 
I'll lower your pistol color pop too, yeah. I forget you guys call him the Satan down there too. <laughs> and what is it? Um governor death sentence or something. <laughs> I mean, considering I mean, it's kind of like a known thing that older people tend to live in Florida. It's like, dude, are you trying to kill everybody down there? What the fuck? Well, he's probably sitting on some fucking island somewhere. Guaranteed. Well, he's going to attempt to run for president in 2024. Yeah, we'll definitely play with the lip stain. That'll be on a fun show here. I'll do it live or something. That orange idiot's never getting back in. No Republicans getting in next year. Not going to happen. Yeah, see, red, Teresa wants to get more into red lipsticks. She thinks she looks best in reds with a warm base, definitely not a cool base. And that's where anything, you just got to, that's where it's a great time sometimes when you buy minis of things. Because then you could try to go, like, I know I don't like a red with like an orange undertone. Or a yellow base. Because I said it'll turn my teeth, it'll make your teeth certain pe people, certain purples too. Can make your teeth look yellow. I could have sparkling white teeth and that lipstick will throw a cast. <laughs> and next thing it's like, why the fuck do my teeth look yellow? They're bright white technically and it's the lipstick. So I always look, for, that's why I like a lot of blue-based products. So a blue-based red, a blue-based purple. Good night, Miss Granny Darling. I'm right behind you, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm not going to make it much longer. Yeah, I just see Terry loves mini lipsticks too. Because, I mean, come on, ladies. I got fucking thousands of goddamn lipsticks. And they don't have, you know, especially like liquid lipsticks, they separate. They don't have the best shelf life. And, you know, they end up going bad. But minis, I love them. That's why I showed you, like, in my bag. I always have minis in there. Oh, minis are great. And it's a great way to try products. Because that's a good time to buy after Christmas sets when they have the minis, where they can grab them at. Target or tar even tar Target, Walmart, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, anywhere online of those little mini sets. Love them. I love like these little Charlotte Tilbury ones. Oh my God, they're so cute. Charlotte Tilbury. Good Lord. Gina got me. I didn't even know she fucking had one. Oh, I did not know this. Charlotte Tilbury has a perfume. Uh -huh. Smells divine. And that son of a bitch lasts like 12 hours or more. Can't believe it. I'll have to look up the set notes for it and everything. Laura likes darker reds with a brownish base. I do too. I like a brown base. Yeah, see, there's so many reds. I want her to have a better sale. It's like, come on, girl. I want 50% off. Because I think even... I haven't been to the fucking makeup shows in so long at this point. I think it was either Tilbury. I think she might have been there one year. Not technically Charlotte herself, I don't think. But the booth might have been there. And I swear to God, they only did 20% off. And I was like, went, I can buy the 20% off online and get the shit sent to my house. And I don't have to worry about lugging it back from fucking New York in a goddamn suitcase. And that happened with... Several booths, whether at IMATS or at the makeup show. Occasionally, even an indie brand one time, I was like really interested in their stuff and, you know, lipsticks and all this. And it's like, if you're going to go to the show, you really should do some type of discount. Even if you're a smaller indie brand, you want people to get your stuff. So I like, I've showed how to shop IMATS. I have all kinds of videos on those. Where I already have the prices written down on my phone, no matter what brand it is. So if I'm looking into this, I know the retail price. To see what the price is and i remember i walked up to one booth and i said oh i love your product you know I was checking out your lipsticks and well what do you sell them for and she, they were like 17 dollars. i go that's what you sell them for normally i'm like you're not giving a discount they're like no i go well i'm sorry <laughs> bye and i just walked away went to the next booth going kick me some kind of discount at a show i paid to go to this show i busted my ass to go to the show with 
hotel rooms and fucking train rides and all this crap. Even then, I'll, I'll do. I'll take a twenty percent on like a small brand. But like, if Charlotte's at the makeup show, that's pro show. That's normally forty percent or better. It's like, don't tell me twenty percent, girl. Mm -mm. And people weren't buying. We were all looking, but we're like, we want a better discount than twenty goddamn percent. Like, I bust my ass coming to New York for twenty percent off. Well, I hope there's some in the lucky bags. And I respect several Republicans also. They're not all assholes. I mean, but there's a good percentage of them that are just, poof, fucking left field. Like, I can't believe these people are in our Congress. It's just fucking shocking. And I'm talking, again, Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, MTG, that Marjorie Taylor Green crazy bitch, that Moen, Lauren Boebert. There's some crazy motherfuckers and... They all got to go. They all get voted out. Yeah, the lucky bags, they usually ship a couple weeks into January. Usually like the third week, I want to say. I can't even describe it, Terry. I have to look it up on our site and it'll tell you the scent notes. Because I don't even know what they are, but I can still smell it. I've had it on all damn day. It smells, it's just nice. It's like a comforting, warm kind of scent. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, I would think they would have good customer service at Charlotte's. I would hope so. Oh, Teresa knows 17th. Yeah, I never pay attention. When the shit shows up, it shows up. That's why I laughed with, like, the Kaleidos. I, you know, once I saw the Kaleidos, like I said, the little highlighter brush on top, I was like, I probably bought a brush, too. And I'm thinking, it's my order that I placed. And it was, you know, what she had sent me. I was like, oh, my God. And she was cute. She sent over a little a little PDF for me going, here's how to photograph um, duochromes and multichromes. I'm thinking I know how to photograph them. But that was that was sweet to send over. A, here's some, you know, tricks of photography. It's like, don't worry, honey. When the fucking sun shows out again. I am running outside with all those fucking highlighters. And, oh yeah, we're going to show them in sunlight and go into the shade. And I have a big fucking backyard here. I'm going to fucking use it. But that was so sweet. I thanked her up and down in the email. I was like, oh my God. I said, I haven't already placed an order. I said, I thought that was what showed up. I said, that was so incredibly nice of you. Because I did, I, when they said, like, the highlighters, we're going to send out the new highlighters. So I thought I was getting two, not an encyclopedia full of them. <laughs> I already bought, like, four of them. But like I said, that's fine, because then I can use my four to take the photograph with. I could still photograph them like that, too. To be fine. Ugh. I wonder if I should try out the new one like this. They dropped a new hyaluronic, different hyaluronic one. Yeah, because I'm trying to literally go through all the skin. <laughs> I have backups of so much stuff where it's like, I, I want, like, you know, my good molecules. I had to throw that back in rotation. <laughs> like, I got to get you back in there immediately, even though I have other stuff behind it that I'm trying to use. It's like, oh my God. But for me to put on two items tonight of essence and then. Glam go, glow good in bed. Works for me. And my, my skin feels fine. Plump and I'll live. <laughs> I just did not feel like doing 20 steps tonight. It wasn't happening. Let me put on my, my lip gloss. It smells like bud. <laughs> it does smell like pot. It's wild. Smells like good pot though. This is the JD Glow for you ladies who haven't seen it. There's little, there are little pot leaves down in the bottom here. I was gonna paint my nails today, didn't get to that. Because now that I have the two uh Christian Louboutin uh nail polishes. Now when I had my thumb rock in there, that sucker lasted for weeks. I never even put a top coat on it. So it's like, okay, 
I'm going to do, you know, obviously the two colors on both hands. And then I'm going to top coat it and see how long they actually last. Because that shit did last pretty damn well for a freaking nail polish. But it has claims of once you get on the two coats, it's equal to 20 coats or something. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Okay. But it did seem pretty damn durable. And it better be for what that cost retail. Do I own the Dior powder? No powder. No. <laughs> yeah, that Kaleidos. I don't know what kept me from... Now I'm like kicking myself in the ass going, I should have got the Angie palette with the YouTuber Angelica Ny Nyquist. Is that her last name? I, I don't know. You know, I, I got all these fucking lists in this damn phone of brands I'm watching and then I do something stupid like, you know, buy that... Bella Beauty fucking duo chromes that I still don't think are all duo chromes. You should, I, oh, I pissed them off. <laughs> I had sent an email right off of Instagram where it says, like, send an email questioning about the duo chromes. Going, I've just watched all that. And I even watched the fucking video that I did. I hate watching my videos back. There's no reason to. But I fast forwarded to the part of the video where I started showing those eyeshadows because I wanted to see on the live if you could see the shifts and there were some that I even said in the video I don't think these are duochrome and I will print the email and read it because you know I'm an asshole like that <laughs> but she actually and I had like half ass read the fucking email where she was trying to school me about fucking duochromes and multichromes I'm thinking girl you don't know what the fuck you're in for here <laughs> <laughs> like I, I half ass read that email came down grabbed my black crayon but again I had no fucking sun because I haven't seen the sun for days and re-swatched them over the black and I was still like no 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 I am not seeing a flip in these even with all the lighting upstairs you know going I, I need to get sunlight and I'm gonna have a over a black swatch, and then I'm going to have it over plain skin. I don't care if I'm fucking covered. To prove to myself, first off, that they are or aren't duochromes in that whole palette. And then I will post the fucking, I'll even send them the fucking video. Oh, and here's the video. Shot outside. Natural daylight. And I will make sure, because I'm going to be a real asshole about it. It's not being an asshole, it's just being honest. I'm going to list exactly what fucking shades are not flipping duochrome and be like, Will you tell me the fucking flip then. What color is that supposed to fucking flip to? Because I am not seeing a flip. And there were several shades that I wasn't seeing a flip because I think she was trying to say like, it's a slight flip. Fuck you, a fucking duochrome. Of, it's normally bam, bam. <laughs> You've seen enough of my <clears throat> fucking voice is shot. Uh, Danessa Myricks, like the Twin Flames, any of my duochromes. When you when I swatch that duochrome, it'll be like, oh, it's gold, it's green. Oh, it's gold, it's, you know, it's this color, it's this color. Duochromes are easy. It's two fucking colors. You should be able to see the two. Multichromes is where it goes three shades or more. That's where it gets a little, holy shit, is it pink, is it gold, is it green, you know, and it takes a little longer. But fucking duochrome, you don't got to be a goddamn rocket scientist. But I have to make sure I do my homework first. Check it in fucking daylight if I ever get some daylight back. And then I will go up, not go after them, but just say, hey, to me, you're still not fucking, your description's wrong. If they're not all duochromes, just say some are metallics. Fine. But don't market shit at $70 for a palette, an indie brand, if it's not all duochromes. Because A, it's false advertising and B, it's fucking wrong. I don't want her has a slight flip. Either it flips or it doesn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I like those highlighters. I agree, Teresa. The Kaleidos highlighters are the best highlighters she's seen. They are that and JD Glow. Holy fuck. 
And give me glow. She makes outstanding highlighters too. Like, holy shit. Oh, poor Carmen. She's going to be stuck in that shit show in downtown Toronto. Oh, my God. Correct. If it doesn't shift, it doesn't. Right. Just call it a fucking metallic. People should try to give it a try and stay home with the virus being so bad. Exactly. Just don't go out. Exactly. So... I mean, luckily, like I said, I, it's got to be being the only child thing. I get where people are snapping, but if you don't like your home that much, what the fuck are you living there for? If you really can't stand being in your own house, maybe it's time to move. <laughs> you're, you're like, fuck. And I always, I, I would laugh at my one girlfriend in Florida when we were technically in lockdown, which lasted, what, a whole fucking 90, not even 90 days, barely. Because she's one who likes to go out and take walks and shit. I go, girl, she said, nobody's saying you can't go outside. Go in your own fucking yard if you want. Walk around your yard or take a walk around the fucking block. If somebody's walking at you, just get the fuck away from them or pop your mask on real quick while you're walking past. I go, don't act like these people are saying you cannot go outside of your fucking house. Now, living in an apartment building, that's a whole other ball of wax there. I can see where that could be a problem because now you do have, you're going to run into people possibly in the hallways, things like that. But again, just wear the fucking mask. I, I like staying home. I'm digging this shit. I like going only to work twice a week now. Oh, oh. I don't blame you, Laura. Couldn't pay her to go anywhere right now. Me either. I know, Teresa. She's okay at home with her wine. That's what I planned on tonight. Like, oh, I'll crack a bottle of wine. Get crazy. And it's just not in me tonight. I think it's because this fucking weather is just my body fucking just. Ugh. No massages. I'm like, mm. yes, I'm being whiny. <laughs> Where I can't have my massage, but it's also being safe. So I'll live. I'll live. Then it makes for sometimes after, if she doesn't work on me for a while, and then when I get that first ass kicking, it's oh boy, I am down for the count because then everything gets moved around. But I'm still doing my own stretching and all that shit I always do. Like I do technically do yoga. I didn't know I was doing yoga for years. I was just always doing these back stretches and all this crap. I just thought it was stuff for my back. And I took a yoga class one day for God knows why. And the girl had kind of geared it towards me with the back because it was a friend of Greg's buddies or something. And she's like, oh, how'd you like the class? I think she wanted me to like join the class. I was like, um, Wow, I've been doing yoga for years and had no idea, but yeah, pretty much everything you did here, I already do. So, sorry, I won't be joining your class. <laughs> like, I didn't realize I was really doing yoga. To me, it was just, I don't look at it as yoga. I look at it as stretching. I'm always stretching out something. My low back and my shoulders fucked up. And, well, it isn't fucked up at this point. Come on, there's no. Not let me do Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, which one do you want to know, Yohanka? What brand was it so she doesn't buy something? I like stretching. Lord does stretches too. I have lidocaine patches, which are better than nothing, but I use those mainly on my shoulder. Just over on here. Because it's, they, Fucking peel off your back. I'd have to wear like um spandex pants, you know what I mean? Leggings to hold the goddamn patches on my back so they don't slide around. So even like I'll put on like a tighter shirt or a nightgown when I put the shoulder one on. And it's like sucks that I have to wear this tighter nightgown, but it keeps the patch in place. I didn't know which brand you were talking about, Yohanka. I'm sorry. Oh. 
but I do miss physical therapy though too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Carmen's back in the subway. We feel bad for you, Carmen. It must be a fucking shit show with all those goddamn people. The duos. What duos? My shadows? Oh, duo chromes? Like I said, I still haven't. It's called. Um... Fuck, they're upstairs. It's that new indie brand I picked up. Beauty. Something beauty blog. Angles of Illumination is the name of the palette. I know that much. Bella, ba Bella Bar Beauty, Bella Beauty Bar, something like that. Bella Beauty something. I'm just holding off, like I said, until I can make sure I'm not fucking crazy. Because even we were watching the video, I was like, those aren't flipping. And like I said, I, I hate to bash an indie brand, but I even said, like, in that video, I noticed, I said, like, and I have no other information. There was no pan size, how much product. All that has to be on there, indie brand or not. You still have to disclose ingredients, you know, product weight, all that shit. There's certain standards you still have to fucking, well, you should abide by. People need to know what the fuck they're purchasing. And it's a very expensive palette. That's where I'm thinking... If, if 15 of those shades, if they all end up being duochromes, which to me, there are some that are technically toppers, which they should call them toppers because it's that clear base. And, you know, okay, yeah, the little shimmers in it are what's kind of flipping, but technically it's a topper. It's not an eyeshadow because it's it has that clear base to it. Bella Beauty Bar, something like that. Yeah, just hold off on them. Happy New Year, Shyla. Be careful, Carmen. <laughs> uh, the email, I have to still print it. All right, Carmen. She's on the subway. She'll be back soon. <laughs> I might be gone by then, Carmen. I don't know. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> oh, shit's going cracking. Bell time. Is that come on? I come on late, too, when I come on at 10. That's got to be what almost fucking midnight. All right. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> It's not going to be different than this year. So just new year. Yeah, it's still going to be. I don't know if there's anything happy about it. Until I see that orange idiot behind bars. That would make my day. Like, come on. January 6th committee. Start fucking all those people up. I want to start taking out the Congress people. They got to get all those records first. Come on, phone. Oh, this fucking thing. It's so weird. Oh my god, yes, and Betty White died today. I woke up to that. And she was gonna be a hundred fucking years old in like a couple weeks. I think I took a nap and woke up and went, Really? Betty White died? I'm like fuck. Rest in peace, Betty. That woman, she rocked it for her whole goddamn life. She was an actress since what? She was like kid teenagerish fucker she was funny as shit all we could do is hope for a better 2022 who the fuck knows i've been saying it for the past since this shit started 2023 if we're lucky 
And that was me with being hopeful that I did not realize that I know other countries have their issues also, but I didn't anticipate around 30% of Americans to be assholes about this. I really did not anticipate that at all. Even throwing out like a three-year number going, if the 1918 one lasted three years, this is going to last at least that. And at the rate we're fucking going, it may be longer than that because of the unvaccinated. All over a shot. I see one more person with a tattoo. Now, I'm talking to buddies of mine or something. If I know they got tats and they're not getting vaxxed, I'm just going to be like, really? Uh, when you go get those tattoos, and I have tattoos, I have never asked my tattoo artist, like, where'd that ink come from? What's in that ink? Are those tools sterilized? Even though I damn well know they are nowadays, of course. Back in the day, you don't know where the fuck those needles were coming from. And uh, is there expiration date on that? And what are the ingredients? Because they're literally pumping ink permanently into my fucking skin. But that's okay. But I'm going to question fucking science about a vaccine that can A, save my life and yours. And be an asshole about it. Like, really? Really? You have any idea what's in that Big Mac you just destroyed? I mean, I'm, hey, I took down a Whopper today. <laughs> it happens. But I'm not asking what the fuck is in it. I know it's nothing that good. But these people with the, I don't know what's in it. Motherfucker, you don't know what's in half the shit you put in your body. So shut up. But especially like the fuckers with tats. I go, and even that, this shot takes a, 10 seconds. Not even. It's done. <laughs> Quick. But tats, I mean, shit, I've sitting three hours for a tattoo. Like, fuck you. No. No. Yeah, poor Betty White. That sucked. All right, my loves. Well, I guess the ball will be dropping. What, like half an hour or so? We'll see. Happy New Year. But, well, as long as I am, I should be feeling hopefully better tomorrow. Just get out of this. Blah. Some sunlight will come out, but I doubt it. But we'll have our girls' night tomorrow regardless. I got shit to show you. I'll show you the stuff Gina got me. What else we got to play with? Ah, we always got something to fucking play with here. There's always something to play with, but I love you all. Thank you for another fabulous year. I love these nights when we just get to talk. And this week's been fun. It's been like live every day, give or take. And I appreciate you all. I truly do. You guys make it fun to do this. It's just, I have fun. I don't care about, oh, I don't have a million followers. And I, you know me, I don't give a shit about any of that. I just have fun talking with all you ladies. And I love that a lot of you ladies have made outside relationships on this where you talk on Instagram or on the side and that's so cool you know of because we're all women and we all love makeup even my mom she she oh well you know Laura's from Alabama and she'd be like Teresa's here and Carmen's in Toronto <laughs> I'm like mom are you taking fucking notes what are you doing <laughs> and she's probably sleeping that's why she didn't show up tonight either because I don't think I saw her pop in I know, Teresa, your dad was so close to you in those five months. I think we're all sad that Betty died. Uh, Bell Cosmetics, that sounds familiar. That's the one they were selling at Walmart? Oh, oh my God, I'm crippled. Oh, yeah, this is a fun one. <laughs> um, well, I, oh, no, it's the only fucking name on it. Bedoya Beauty? I thought that's what you were talking about. This is another one. I got these at Walmart. <laughs> no information at all on the actual packaging. Here's the highlighter. Another highlighter. palette here and I know noticed that this was gone out of Walmart they took out cab cosmetics because there's been an end cap in the um beauty section and it's usually like four different indie brands that's where I found this 
Medoya Beauty. But it's weird that, again, this is, especially if you're smelling this shit in Walmart, where's the labels? This has to have all the fucking information on all this. That's a big fucking no-no, too. Bell Beauty. See, I'm not sure on the Bell Beauty. Oh, we all love you, too. Love you, ladies. Carmen, text me when you get home just so I know you're home safely. Hit me up on Instagram. Gotta know you're safe. I know it's fucking crazy out there. <laughs> and especially you're out at, like, midnight. Gotta be safe. Gotta be safe. And check in with me and Laura or something. One of us. <laughs> yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be good. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I gotta let the damn dog out. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I promise I will have more fun. I'll be my crazy bitchy self. <laughs> we'll play with some makeup instead of just looking at this mug all night. All right, Mwah. love you all, and uh, see you next year. <laughs>